So if your wall moves in and out ever so slightly, I'm exaggerating that, but if this isn't a perfect angle, when you paper up to it, you don't want to see any of the old colour between the new colour and the wallpaper. So if you're painting this wall, bring it around an inch or so onto this wall here. As with the ceiling, I've repainted this. I've repainted the whole ceiling, but this morning I just painted this bit of coving and brought the white down onto the wall. Again, if my wallpaper finishes just ever so sh slightly short of this piece of coving, I don't want the old wall color creeping up underneath. Sometimes when it's painted the wall, the color can be on the bottom of the coving here, or that would be your ceiling if there was no coving there. You don't want to see this existing color between the white and your wallpaper. So I've gone underneath the coving all the way down. Skirting, I've repainted this piece of skirting and brought that up an inch onto the, the wall we're gonna paper. So do that first, do that in preparation that you know you're gonna be doing it an hour at least before you're gonna paper so it dries. Water-based paints that we use dry in 15, 20 minutes, an hour they're, they're cured and hard enough to go ahead with your papering. So after you've filled, after you've sanded, done your adjacent walls, skirtings, ceilings, then we're gonna put PVA on.